Well, first off, uh, Madam Secretary, congratulations being here. I was proud to vote for your uh, your confirmation. I think your diversity of experience is going to be very good for us. You've heard from a lot of the Western senators up here, and uh, I, I just want you to know, as important as the Department of Interior is to the West, uh, we have some interest in in Vermont and in the East. We take pride in our own stewardship. We uh, uh, we appreciate the value the Department of Interior brings to Vermont through our two national wildlife refuges, two units of the national park system, two national fish hatcheries. And I was glad when the Connecticut River and Vermont and neighboring New England states became the first national blue way. Um, so these are all things that we're, we're interested in. Uh, since 1998, the Fish and Wildlife Service has led the effort to control parasitic sea lamprey in Lake Champlain, Vermont, New York. That's what this ugly looking thing is, which uh, attaches, it attaches itself to fish, uh, lake salmon, trout, and so on. It's critical to the restoration of native fish spe species in Lake Champlain uh, they have a devastating impact on the ecosystem that they left unchecked. The program getting rid of it has been a huge success. In 2011, your predecessor and former colleague uh, Ken Salazar joined me in Vermont, say the Fish and Wildlife Service is accepting full responsibility and management of it, but they've yet to budget money for this work. When will the um, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service spending plan begin to honor your predecessor's commitment in 25 years of leadership by the Fish and Wildlife Service and put money in to eradicate sea lampreys in Lake Champlain without sounding too parochial. <laughs> well, it's a great illustration of the challenge that we have in balancing the resources, particularly with invasive species. Specific to the sea, uh, sea lamprey, um, I'm looking at Pam to see if she's got a number. She's scrambling to come up with a number. Uh, the 2014 budget, sir, uh, maintains Fish and Wildlife Service funding uh, at the 2012 level. So that's a million dollars. Uh, this uh, supports uh, Fish and Wildlife Service's efforts um, in Marquette, Lunnington Field Stations in Michigan, and the Lake Champlain uh, Fish and Wildlife Resource Office in Vermont. So how much is going to be budgeted for Vermont? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. We, we can get you that information, sir. Could you get it this week? We can. Thank you. I know the senator from Tennessee has mentioned white nose uh, syndrome, something I raised here several years ago. It is a matter of huge import, uh, not only to farmers who use pesticides, but also to those who are involved in organic farming without pesticides. And then native fish populations, ever increasing risks. Uh, we've seen firsthand Vermont, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service through the federal fish hatchery system is critical to preventing that. Um, Vermont's two federal fish hatcheries support native fish restoration as far west as Lake Ontario, as far east as Maine. Administration spending requests is a significant drawback from um, freshwater fish restoration. Are you going to be able to continue a strong network of federal fish hatcheries? Senator, I'm going to, I'm going to actually work white-nosed bats as well in, uh, as the question on the fish hatcheries. Uh, I do have uh, information. We have $11.5 million for programs uh, in the 2014 budget for the white-nosed bat syndrome, and that's a $5 million increase above 2012, so recognizing the huge right. economic impact of that. In terms of fish hatcheries, I know that there is support uh, for fish hatcheries in general. I don't know specifically about Vermont. Uh, Rhea? Um, uh, Senator, uh, we believe strongly that the White River um, uh, National Fish Hatchery uh, 
is, is one of the best examples of, of, of our work uh, in this realm. Um, and as you know, uh, the, uh, the hurricane in 2011 uh, caused significant damage uh, to this facility. So we have been uh, undergoing two uh, separate construction projects to try to repair um, and, and rebuild uh, the fish tagging, fish tagging building in specific. Um, in uh, 2014, we have a total of $4.7 million uh, budgeted uh, for the operations of this program. So we're working on both kind of the, the, the ongoing uh, regular operations as well as the uh, restoring and the rebuilding of the the actual infrastructure. Well, thank you very much. And finally, uh, Madam Secretary, if you go online and pick up uh, Onion, the satirical uh, news magazine, you probably have seen this, how you became president when president, the vice president, the speaker, myself, and the, those of us who were in line to uh, session to the presidency took a hot air balloon ride. Uh, trust me, we're not going to. Thank you. <laughs>